Welcome back, everybody. Small business owners have been really heavily impacted by this pandemic, especially those who own their own restaurants, Olivia. Yes, one restaurant owner wants business owners to understand there is help out there. You just got to know uh, who to ask and what to pursue in a time of crisis. So Gibby is live in Mesa now with that story. Hi, Gib. Yeah, good morning, ladies. Yeah, you, you know, to have a restaurant, it's already tough enough with all the competition that's out here in the valley across the state. Now think about it. You're a small business owner. You're trying to get by. You have a son who's in college and yet... COVID-19 hits, Toby. Uh, that's the hard part here, but yet you found a way to adapt. I did. I got this place about three years ago, and it's been a struggle being a small business woman owner. Uh, recently, I took on a partner this year, and then, yes, COVID hit. It's hard because I don't have dine-in. I still I haven't since March. I only have pickup and delivery, and it's been a challenge. Um, but you were I, telling me it's about 60% of your business when you think of it, and it's a smaller space, so that's why you've only done uh, that. In A lot of small business owners say, though, man, I can't find help. You were able to find some. The Mesa Cares Act, SRP, stepped up to the plate. Yes, SRP was wonderful. I called them. I told them I was behind. I needed some help. They were able to give me a grant and pay some of my bills for me, uh, the SRP bills. Mesa Cares, I applied for back in the beginning of May and they were able to help me with uh, three months of rent assistance and utility assistance and it was an easy application process. So for those small businesses who are saying, man, I'm having a tough time getting in, what, what would you recommend? Because you said it was kind of easy when, I, like I said, I, a lot of people are like, it's tough, I can't get any help, but you, it was easy for you. It was, because with SRP, I just had to ask. I mean, I didn't know it was out there. I just called my account manager and said, hey, I need help. I'm not doing dining. It's not safe, and they were able to help me. Mesa cares as well, and you just have to be persistent and follow up with them. And it's an easy process. And I would say just just ask for help and there's help out there. Yeah, when you think about it, SRP coming through the way they have, uh, you have two hot ovens, you said. And so when you think of what your electricity is like it's to know that, and you can't afford for those ovens to shut off. So yeah. when they stepped up to the plate, that was huge. For that you. was huge. SRP was is huge. Huge. All right, so the, the, the big thing here, ladies, is, you know, get a hold of your account manager, especially with SRP like that. They work with uh, a lot of the smaller companies like the Mesa Care Act. So let's say you're not in Mesa and you're here in the Phoenix area. You get a hold of them, work with them. They're willing to work with you because if you know uh, these small businesses are what help us run. That's how we get by and always contribute to them as well. Yeah, they need all the help and they can get. We desperately want them sure. to be here, yeah. At the end, we want to be able to return to them. Gibby, thank you.